what's up goodies welcome to your girl channel and to my kitchen how to cook and today we're making shrimp and broccoli in the kitchen fast easy and simple if you're new here welcome make sure you subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you won't miss any other uploads and for all i'm returning goodie when you don't know my love or not when you're ready to cook come on let's cook <music> All right, goodies, let's cook. Now we have our broccoli here that has been cut and washed with cold water. Now it is up to you to decide the size of the broccoli or you wanna cut it. But in a pot, you're gonna add some salt for flavor. Then you go in and add your broccoli and allow it to cook for about six minutes. Now while your broccoli is cooking for that six minutes, you're going to go ahead and season your shrimp. To season a shrimp, it's very simple because you don't want to over season. I'm using my red lobster seafood seasoning or you could use obey seasoning to season your shrimp. And that is all it takes. Give it a nice little mix here and allow it to sit for maybe about five to six minutes. Moving along, we are going to prep. So to prep, we're just going to add some scallions here. And I love to add red bell pepper whenever I'm cooking shrimp and broccoli recipe, but it's totally optional. Now, usually when I get to the bottom portion of the scallion or green onion, as you will call it, I like to cut it going like a triangle shape. No particular reason, but it's just maybe for decoration purposes, but you'll see why. Now we're going to cut our red bell peppers and we are going to dice it. I'm not going to use all of it. I'm going to use a half of it. Now after I'm done with my scallion and my bell pepper, it is time to make the sauce. Now in a container, I'm going to add some soy sauce and I will list the ingredients what I use here for the recipe in the description box. Then I'm gonna add some cornstarch to it and some white sugar. Next, I'm gonna add some kind of a flavor. So I did use the red lobster seasoning and some sesame seeds. I'm adding a half of my seasoning, which is the scallion and the sweet bell peppers to the mixture and give it a nice little mix here. Now moving along, after six minutes of cooking your broccoli, you want to go ahead and drain it off. To stop the cooking process, you could also add cold water to it so that way it doesn't get too soft. 
now in a pan you're going to add about four tablespoons of butter a tablespoon of chopped garlic and mix well Okay, so now what we're going to do here, we are going to add our shrimp in and we are going to allow the shrimp to cook on one side for about two minutes. And after that two minutes, you want to go ahead and flip them on the other side an additional two minutes. So this should be a total of four minutes and then we will go ahead and remove them from the pot. So now that you have removed your shrimp from the pot, we're going to use up all that good flavor here, the garlic and butter. You're going to go in and add your sauce to it and give it a nice mix until it becomes thick. Not too thick y'all, but you want it to come together. It's not supposed to be watery like that until it comes like that. Perfect. Now you want to go in and you are going to add in your broccoli. Then you add in your shrimp. Then you add your vegetables. And you combine everything together. Now, whenever I get to this step, I always turn the heat off because I don't want to overcook those shrimp, all right? Um, by the time I put everything in here, the shrimp is going to finish cooking. It does take about, uh, I'll say, six minutes to cook these shrimp, but for shrimp and broccoli, you want to make sure that your shrimp is very tender, okay? So just go ahead and turn your heat off. By the time you get done, combining everything together to achieve the color the shrimp will be done and then you want to go ahead and serve it in a serving tray that is it y'all it is all done look at that shrimp and broccoli in the kitchen in minutes fast easy and simple any day of the week please be sure to like share and subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend tell them what's going on over here bring them come and send them because i'm waiting and when you get done doing all of that Tell me what you want for see me a cook next in my kitchen. And remember, as always, from my kitchen to your kitchen. Enjoy.